Hello, welcome to today's video where we are going to be doing a quick demo of setting up your own unique chatbot for streaming on Twitch, YouTube, or that you can even use with Discord if you want to. Now, everyone streaming today has some sort of chatbot, whether that's Nightbot, Stream Elements, Cloudbot, etc. But using your own custom unique chatbot that has additional features the other ones do not can help you stand out from the crowd and separate yourself. So with that being said, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to post a link down to this documentation in the description. This is the manual that comes with it that has all the features, might be able to help you set stuff up. I don't use everything that this bot can do to its full extent, but if you would like to explore those options, this is the place where you would start. And I'm going to use this documentation to start with the install because I already have the chatbot installed. So I'll just go through this quickly on here with you. The first thing you're going to want to do is so you could use your regular account as your chatbot. And now the benefit to doing this would be that you could use all of your own emotes in your chatbot, whether that's your tier one, your tier two, your tier three, or your cheer bit emotes. So using yourself, you'll get access to that. Personally, I wanted the name over that using all my emotes. So I went with Pygobot because I use the alias Pagowski and a lot of people just call me Pygo for short. I wanted Pygobot. And I just paid to, I gift a sub to that account for tier one so that it can still use my tier one emotes because that's all I really need. But again, if you want access to all of them, you can just use your regular streamer account as your bot account. So once you have those accounts set up, whether it be one or two, you're going to want to link your Twitch bot account here. You'll just have to authenticate it. It explains it all right here. So you do your Twitch bot first. Then you go down to the Twitch streamer account, which is your account that you will be streaming from. I'll also post a, post a link down in the chat to where you can download the bot. And you can also use it for Discord actually as well, which I don't, but then you can use it to announce when you're going live and other things such as that. Mm -hmm. But I don't personally use it, like I said. Again, that's all up to you. It's all here in the instructions if you would like to, but I'm just going to show you some quick and simple to use features that will still help you stand out from the rest. So once you have that installed and you want to set up your bot, here it is. So I've already linked it to my account. So this is where you'll be sitting when you first start your bot on the console. This tells you who your mods are, when it connects to your channel, if you're hosting. So I was at hosting blue, but he's gone offline. So it's exiting hosting mode. All your list of viewers and moderators are right here. And I would also like to mention actually while I'm thinking about this is that anybody using console or PC can run their own custom chatbot. So as long as you have a laptop or a computer that you can run the chatbot on, it can still connect to your channel even if you're streaming from console. And if you are streaming from console and you've got a laptop anyway to monitor your Twitch chat, you can now use this instead. So this has a list of all your moderators, your viewers, who's watching, and in your dashboard, or sorry, back in the console here, getting ahead of myself there, this is where your chat is. So for example, here's a chat that command that I have set up. You can test it in here as well. So when I do exclamation advice, my Pygobot will give us a random piece of advice. One of the top five regrets people have is that they don't, they don't, sorry, they didn't have the courage to be their true self. That's great advice. Sure, Pygobot. But yeah, the, all of your chat, you will be able to see in this window right here. So it's a lot easier to monitor and do it all in one place instead of having your browser open and trying to do it that way. And from here, you can also, um, you can ban people, you can time them out, you can make them a moderator. So you have complete control from this console itself. Now your dashboard here, this is where you can, set the title of your stream and manage all that and set what game you're playing. And this is all customizable through the console itself. So like I said, you don't need to have your browser up. You can have run your commercials through here. 
I haven't used this automatic hosted or RAID Assist myself. Again, look into it if you would like. But say you want to get up and go to the bathroom, you just want to run a 60 second commercial. You just click that and you're good to go. Now next we have our subscribers list. I think that this has some additional setup that needs to be done using text files, but because I haven't done it, that's up to you if you want to learn more. And you can keep track of all the different tier subs you have and how many sub points. But this is what we're here for mainly today. So any chatbot that you have that does commands, such as, like I said, Nightbot, etc., you can put all those commands in here as well and use for your custom bot. So, for example, I have a GG one right here. So because I've subscribed my bot as Tier 1, it gets all my Tier 1 emotes. So when I do a exclamation, exclamation mark GG, this is what will show up from the bot which is my icon here. I'll show you and we can test that. And there you go. I've also set up one. So if I want hype, you know, the bot can post them just like that. So the bot can use emotes for anyone it's subscribed to again. Now there's a bunch of commands in here, such as advice, BBC news, cat fact that I have that all come from this Scorp stuff website. They have a bunch of fun commands that your viewers will like that I will post a link in the description for as well. So here we go. When you want to add a new command, you can click, you just click the plus up here, command test, and we want this to be permission. So you can control if you want everyone to be able to use it, regulars who you can set yourself via the console here, VIPs, moderators, and so on. So I want this one to be used for everyone, so I can set it as everyone. Say we want a two minute cooldown on it. Response, this is a test. And it's enabled true, group, Let's put it in our general and submit. So now you can see here I have, when I type exclamation test, it should say this is a test and everyone should be able to use it. So let's test it. There we go, it works like a charm. And then you can also have commands that will pull your sub age. You can do shout outs. So here's one I'll talk to you about. So for shout out, you have dollar sign target name. So if I wanted to do a shout out to Pygobot, I would say exclamation mark, shout out, and then a name. And then this command will return that name that you did said is the MVP, go give them a follow. And then dollar sign URL is the link to their Twitch account. So I'll show you how that one works. So let's say we want to shout out I go bot. And then this is how it shows up. So it shows up with their name right here, as well as the URL for their account right here. And so in the commands, if you might have noticed for that one, I had the dollar sign in their target name. All of those variables can be found in this documentation that you have down here at the bottom, the basic parameters, currency parameters, etc miscellaneous those are what you're looking for to be able to pull usernames like that and you can really it doesn't have to be an exclamation mark you can add whatever you want so for me it has a built-in command advice but i don't like to use that one i'm just going to remove this one quick yes so because the commands with this bot itself is hard to use or understand. What I did is I set it so that when people type exclamation mark commands, all my command list is at this website here, which I just update every time I add a command. It's just a paste bin where people can see what your commands are, copy and paste. You can give a description about them if you want to. I can, yeah. So if you want to, you can go to Pastebin and kind of see what it's about. You can use this link right here if you felt like typing it in, or we can pull it up for you quick just to give you a brief example.
So here, I have it split between my text commands, my audio commands, and which ones were mod only. I've since changed this. I just need to go here and edit this. So I put these ones as everyone now. I don't have any more modeling commands, so I'll move that. And then I just go up and save changes. And now this is what people will see. So it's up to you if you want to manage your commands that way or make an easy list for people to see. I find it works quite easy, but that's all in your control. So one thing I'd like to show you as well is you can add audio commands. So for example, I have exclamation mark disgusting, which will do this. Disgusting! Disgusting! So that pulls an audio clip from my computer. Now, none of the other chatbots, such as Nightbot or Stream Elements that I know of, can do audio commands like that. That's another good way that you could maybe encourage people to become VIPs in your channel or subs. If you set your audio commands as sub only, then that encourages people to want to use them. It's up to you. So for the sound commands, what you have to do is go to sound files here, click add, you pick the name of it, set the volume here, and what group, I put it them in, they're just general. And then you can pick your sound file where you can pick an MP3 file from your computer. And once you have that saved, you hit submit, the sound file will go here. Then when you're creating a new command, you can have your command sound file in here. And then you just submit. And for example, it will look like this. So when people type this, there's no text response. It just plays this sound file. And I have no cooldown and everyone can use it. Now, timers are something that your other bots have as well. And a timer is an automated message that will come every so often based on how you set it. So I have two things in my timer here. And the way this timer works is you go to your settings. So you can link your timers to commands. And then you can set the interval for how often you want that chatbot to post. I have mine at five minutes. So every five minutes, it's going to post one of these two responses. So in five minutes, it'll post, check out what I can do by typing commands. And then in five minutes, it'll rotate between this one. And every one you add in here will be in your rotation. So timers are a good way to just post extra stuff or let people know about stuff that, or send reminders basically. Now quotes, I don't use quotes, but what you can do is the way this works is, let's say, let's add, you ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Billy Madison. We'll submit that. Let's add another quote. Let's say, is that goal? regulation size or what happy Gilmore so what you can do with quotes is once you have a couple quotes in here people can do exclamation mark quote and it will sorry my stream elements is linked to quote as well which I don't use so you can ignore that that doesn't need to be there but the bot will pick a quote and display that to your audience. If you want a specific one, I believe you can do quote one. Yeah, and it'll show you quote number one. Okay, so it must just be quote. Yeah, and then quote will pick a random one. I don't know if it cycles through them in order or if it picks a random one just solely because I don't do it, but feel free to look into that more. And 
extra quotes, a spot if you would like additional quotes, I'm assuming, if this gets full. Now, another thing that you can do with this chatbot that you can't do with others is run giveaways. So <clears throat> first of all, in this bot, you have a currency. You can manage your own currency, which people get for watching or interacting with your stream. And then you can use that currency for giveaways so they can buy tickets for a raffle. You can integrate this with your timer. You can use this to pick a winner. Just another way to keep your uh, community engaged and involved. Song request, you can turn this on so people can request songs that will play on your channel. And down here you've got your play, shuffle, repeat, etc. Because I don't use song request, I'm not sure if it just plays on your stream or the video, but again, that's all up to you. Sound files where you manage for your sound commands. Q. What you can do with Q is say you have a sub only night where you're playing with your subs in order, they can use the command, however you set it up, join to join the queue. And then you can go through your queue as you play your games with your subscribers, or you can pick a random. Any reason you want to set up a queue that has people in it or to pick from, you can do that all in here. It's quite easy and you can control the command and the title of it and everything all here. On the counter tab here, you can set up counters for deaths for hackers. So one of my mods set exclamation mark death to show my death count. Every time I die, we can add one to this counter and you can see how many times you die in a game, for example. I know some people that have hacker counters where you can see how many hackers you encounter in a game that you add to the counter, things like that, just to keep people counting and wanting to watch your stream again. It's personal if you want to use that. We're still exploring with it, but I definitely think if you're playing something like Warzone or Call of Duty, a death counter is good or a hacker counter or a kill counter, whatever you think is a good idea. So this is the currency that I mentioned that you can manage amongst your channel that you can use for giveaways. You can also use it for mini games. And you, there's four integrated mini games, heist, duel, free for all, boss battle. In the documentation, you can find all the instructions you want on how to set up and maintain those mini games for your community. Something that they can do for fun while they're watching you. A users list, so all the people that follow or have joined your channel since what well, since you've used the bot it will tell you the last time the bot has seen them you can also use this to manage uh, if they are a regular if they are an editor you can make the mods through here set what they are and aren't allowed to do just a nice place to manage all of your users in one spot mini games we touched on all in the documentation now poll on the poll tab, you can set up your polls, your voting, how much it costs to vote, and you can use a timer or allow multiple voting who can do it. Polls are a good way to keep them betting on what's going to happen in your game, maybe. Uh, poll, allow people to bet on do they think you're going to win that game, so on. Betting, similar to polls, you can do betting bet on options will I get 10 kills this game and people can bet however much and you can decide what the payout is and if they can multi bet just all managed in here you can control events so you can add events with an ID put a username to them and now I'm not sure what speak and join do because I've never used this but you can control the volume and the sound effects for your events and what message will happen. Mod tools. This is where you would have your caps lock protection, symbol protection, link protection, and word protection. So sometimes you may have tried to post a link in someone's chat and you might see something like Nightbot remove that link and say you're not allowed to post links here. So in here you can manage all that yourself. If you want link protection turned on, you can. and allow who is and isn't allowed to post them set what their punishment is maybe it'll just give them a timeout 
maybe it'll ban them or if you just want the message purged you can add permit durations and then also your custom replies so if you post a link this one will pull that username ask for permission before posting a link and then the punishment which is purge so you can also use word protection to ban certain words you might not like people using or if you don't want people posting in all caps you can set how many caps in a row they need to trigger this it's all customizable whereas with some other bots it's just kind of static so that's up to you if you want to keep it clean it's a lot easier doing it here than trying to keep stream elements and nightbot and cloudbot all managed in separate locations notifications so these will post in your chat every time these actions happen so if somebody follows me it'll notify in the chat saying much love to that user thank you for the follow and then show one of my emotes you can also have it play a sound effects i don't have it do that because i have alerts on when people follow already so this is solely for the chat reason or if you get hosted thanks for the host and how many minimum viewers the host needs for this message to trigger subscribers and cheers and you can set streamlabs donation in here as well just another way for your bot to engage people in conversation and make them feel welcome now discord this is where you can link the bot to your discord server and if you do that and you have the bot running when you go live then it will you can set it up to announce in what channel saying that they are live and it'll post your twitch url and you can also have timers in discord so the bot will post a certain message based on a queue in rotation and you can set it to have uh users auto assign to specific roles like say you want people to start out with uh, a newbie type role you can automatically assign that until they emote your rules or whatever else you have maybe they need to be so active before they get a new role but this is a way you can manage your discord users as well so it's a very versatile bot you can do so much with it one thing i'd like to add to is in the settings here you can there is an area where you can connect this bot to OBS Studio, and that way you can use the bot to control your stream session as well. You know, you can end it with the bot and so on. So yeah, good luck setting up your custom bots. I hope this tutorial has been good for you. I hope you got a lot out of this. I'd like to see your custom bots. Good luck making your audio commands. And again, please remember, anybody, console or PC can use this custom bot as long as it's running on the computer while you're streaming, you're golden. So let me know if there's anything I missed or if you found other cool things this bot can do, let me know in the chat. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for stopping by.